Hi, this is Simon from Hokit News, and this week we're looking at our very first IKEA smart product, the Mirvar LED light strip. Now, we've featured many light strips on this channel before, so what makes this any different? Keep watching to find out. So this is the first IKEA lighting product I've owned and you can clearly see this is definitely from IKEA just in case you were wondering. The product name is Mirvarv and for our Swedish viewers I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's a light strip of course and it comes in the standard 2 meter or 6 foot 7 inch length with a brightness of 1200 lumens and the package only contains the strip and fittings. To make this all work you will need a few other things, some of which you may already have, but you will need a driver, you'll need the power cable for the driver, the trad free gateway if you don't already have it, and a steering device to initially pair everything up. If you already use trad free stuff you'll almost certainly have the gateway which is a great start, but in terms of the strip itself, it's dimmable and it's set to 2700 Kelvin which is warm white essentially, so no tunable white I'm afraid. Now even though this is HomeKit compatible, because of that it won't work with Apple's adaptive lighting feature. Putting that all aside, let's have a look what's in the box. You do get a few things, but the main part is the 2 meter light strip itself. This comes with a power cable, although not the type you would plug into a wall. Let's put this to one side for a second. So you also get the standard instruction manual, and along with that are some fittings which include brackets, some screws, and double-sided stickers. You can see the stickers match up with the brackets, although if you're looking for a more permanent and stronger solution, you can also use the screws if you so wish. You should get 10 each of the stickers, screws, and brackets. You do also get a spare end bracket if you cut the strip, but let's get back to the strip itself now. As you can see it's quite different to a standard light strip which is due to the rubber casing enclosing the LEDs. It's quite flexible but IKEA advise against bending it at too great an angle, especially when it's in the flat position. If we look at the strip again you can see that there are in fact cut marks if you need to shorten it, and if we look at a cross section you can see that the strip has not one but two diffusers to ensure the individual LEDs aren't visible and therefore create a solid strip of light. I did mention an end cap earlier which fits onto the end of the strip once it's been cut so as to not let in dirt or moisture which could affect the LEDs and electrical components inside. So let's get this plugged in so you can see how the strip looks when using this double diffuser technique. I have the 30 watt driver which has ports for up to 9 different lights depending on their requirements and as you can immediately see the light appears more or less continuous. If you're new to IKEA smart products, here's a quick explanation of how it works with HomeKit. In the case of the strip, you need a driver, and you'll also need the light strip, of course, which connects directly to the driver. The driver is the smart device in this case, not the strip. You then need the trad free gateway, which comes with its own HomeKit code. The gateway communicates directly with HomeKit. Next, you need a steering device, which will be needed to pair the driver to the gateway. Now first of all you need to pair the steering device, which is also a remote, to the gateway. Next you then pair the steering device to the driver, which then allows it to communicate with the gateway and then to HomeKit, which in turn allows the driver to control the strip in the Home app. Hopefully that all made sense, but let's get back to the strip with some dimming and brightness tests, starting off at 100% brightness before dropping to 75%. We'll then drop to 50%. Then we'll drop to 25%. Then down to 10%. Let's get to 5%. Before finally dropping to 1%. Let's see how well the diffusers in the strip do compared to a standard LED strip. So you'll notice that the individual LEDs are noticeable in the standard strip, whereas you get solid light with the IKEA when it's set to 100. But even at low levels it still appears as solid light, which is great. Fitting the strip is pretty straightforward, and in my case I use the adhesive stickers with these clips, not the screws, as the window frame is metal. The strip easily snaps into place in the clips, 
and it's all done in a matter of minutes. It all looks neat enough to me and as you can see at night it really does light up the area nicely, although I do need to just hide the power cable a little bit more. In HomeKit and the Home app it's all a little basic with the driver and strip appearing as a light. As it's warm white only this slider shows only one colour and offers no colour selections which is of no surprise although you can still dim the strip as normal. As standard you can also include this strip in scenes and automations and you also have access to IKEA's HomeSmart app shown here which has some basic functions much like the Home app although I'm not going to delve into it at this time. Finally onto the pros and cons which is 50-50 on this occasion so quite importantly at 1200 lumens the strip is reasonably bright which is great. The built-in diffuser really allows the strip to be placed in more directly visible places which is also a plus and as IKEA use Zigbee the response times are reassuringly fast. Now onto the cons and in this case firstly it can only do warm white which does limit it to the home more than a home office for example. It isn't extendable either although the driver can accommodate more than one strip so it's not as bad as you think. And finally unless you're already deep into IKEA and their smart products you're going to need a few extras to actually get this working. However if you plan on buying more IKEA stuff you can offset the cost somewhat. So that's it for our very first IKEA product review. What do you think of this strip and is there a special place for it in your home? All feedback or comments welcome. So until our next video, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.